sending a helicopter to space. Let's check in with Professor Cody Stark, who wants to slap you with science. That's this right, Hulisa. All right. Hey, guess what? The okay. glowing bioluminescent waves have returned to San Diego after five years of absence. This unpredictable bloom of single celled red plankton mm. have returned, making the waves glow again. It is so beautiful. So pretty. Uh, photographers in San Diego have been going nuts, snapping pictures of the waves, according to researchers. It seems that the bloom seems to be moving north. Not meaning all the way up here, yeah. but just moving a little bit north. Okay. Marine scientists are in the waters trying to figure out its mysterious return. It's a mystery. And a slap with a science. Uh, for the first time, astronomers have charted the 3D shape of a cloud of interstellar gas. Excuse me, I got a little interstellar gas. <laughs> Uh, the map, this map uh, explains the particular cloud uh, field and how it formed stars. So far, it could actually test the theories of how star formation works. The narrow gas cloud is part of the constellation Musca, Musca, uh, located between 490 and 650 light years from Earth. The thin, dark, snake like cloud puzzled scientists for a long time, so research decided to listen to the cloud by analyzing the data that measured. Magnetic fields. Science. Turns out that the dark cloud runs much deeper than researchers first thought and could start forming stars in about 10 Science. billion years. Larry King and I will be covering it. Boom! Oh. Smash! Uh, NASA announced that it's planning to send a helicopter to Mars in a little over two years. If the mission turns out to be successful, the copter, which is the size of a football, would be the first helicopter to fly on another planet. NASA is hoping to launch the prototype uh, to the Red Planet with the agency's 2020 Science. rover, which is designed to hunt for signs of life on the Red Planet. <laughs> Very dramatic music. Uh, engineers at NASA's Denver Pulitzer Laboratory in California have been working on the copter since 2013. The helicopter is, uh, is settled. The scientists, well, once the helicopter is settled, the scientists will take uh, the command off and then it will be on its own so it can fly and do all this stuff. There you go. You've been slapped with science. Oh. Science. Oh. Slap. Sciencey. Oh. There you go. It's all all right, back to Monday. Yeah, yeah, it's Monday. Thank and you, I Professor. Put my coffee on top of the car. And I know. Right. <laughs> He's okay. He's okay. No Julians were harmed in this <laughs> lab. Thank goodness. Thank